God said. Many questions do not bear a yes or no answer. In terms of the relative world, the true answer to many questions would be, it depends. That is how it is in the relative world. Some of the laws of the land leave no leeway. There are no exceptions. There is no room left for heart to enter. Adhering becomes a question of practicality and consistency. Should a clerk in a particular situation have the discretion to change a law according to her judgment and common sense and the love in her heart? Or must she follow the rules? The law of the land says she must. Because of this, there is the expression, the law is the law. Exceptions are frowned on. The Supreme Court is a court of last resort in the world. Yet who wants a court to decide his or her fate? Unwieldy are many regulations, and, impersonally, they leave no room for the heart. Cut and dried. Black or white. Something has been arbitrarily set. It could have been set a different way, only it wasn't. Who hasn't made a law and then protested it and thought of a better way to write it? Yet the law is the law, and it is the rule of the land. Yes, of course, there always could be another way and another and another. And then responders get tired and they respond, you can't fight City Hall. They say, it's too much trouble. They say, to heck with it. They grit their teeth, and they knuckle under. They pay the fine. They just want to be done with the whole thing and put the past behind them. Life in the world encroaches on everyone's style. It seems that individual free choice is sacrificed for the good of the whole, even when everyone knows that it may not be for the good of the whole. There is a greater law that calls for warming hearts and making room for all hearts. And so it seems that in the world, whatever decisions are made, someone's heart is left out in the cold. Yet who is it that says things have to be one way or the other? And, so, sides are born. Positions are taken. And sometimes one who takes a certain stand later changes his mind. He sees differently. Once he saw one way, and now he sees another. Licenses are required, and there is a lot of rigmarole to go through. Once upon a time, there were wise counselors who sat around the fire and made decisions based on each case. Time was allowed, and time was taken. Perhaps even then there were times when the elders made a decision and someone cried out, foul, and left dissatisfied. I myself do not wish to sit every day in the world in a court dispensing wise counsel, making one decision after another for others. What I did instead was to place my heart of love in every human being so that love and wisdom could be meted, for everyone wants to be heard. Yet in the world, all hearts are not heard, and all hearts are not taken into account for the reason of expediency. And, so, not everyone is given a hearing. Not everyone finds a comfortable seat to sit in. There have not been enough comfortable seats for everyone on the bus or the train of life. And life has become two-sided when actually there are infinite points of view. In the world, some matters are not worth the bother of fighting for, and you wonder where is unity. Where has it gone? You would like a life and let live a society where borders are not and enforcement is not necessary where all hearts are wise hearts and loving hearts making room for all. You are voting for the freedom of the individual within a peaceful accommodating world. Long live peace. Long live freedom, and long live happy hearts making happy choices with the freedom of hearts in mind.